What's up boys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how I got my heart broken in Warsaw, Poland. But before we do that, smash like button, cost you nothing, means the world to me, it really helps me out with the algorithm, and I would truly appreciate if you could do that for me real quick. I think this is a Nicaraguan or Honduran cigar that I got. There's this uh, place called Cigara in the center of Warsaw. Great place to have a huge selection of cigars. So if you're into cigars, that would be one place that I highly recommend. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's talk about this quick story. So, spoiler alert. I didn't actually get my heart broken, but this was something that stood out to me, if you will, about the Polish people. Now, a little bit of background. Poland is an up-and-coming country. Well, I mean, it's already come up, but in many of these people's lives, Poland went from a smaller economy to a fairly successful economy. And so, as many of you guys know, I tend to date women who are below the age of 25. And so they came around, obviously, at a pretty interesting time in the history of Poland for economic purposes. And so keep that in mind as I tell you this story. So I was out with a variety of different people. And I typically order a lot of things off the menu. And so, just to give you some background, so I grew up in a pretty low-class family, at least during my youth. Then uh, my dad started a business, and towards the end of my youth, we were a little bit more well-off. And so, when I was younger, we got, like, McDonald's, I don't know, once every six months, and then we'd get Domino's pizza with, like, chicken wings, and that was, like, our, like, special meal, okay? So we were not, like, eating out at fancy restaurants, and, you know, if I could get a Happy Meal, I would be super happy with that. Like I said, our family at that time, not super well off. Then my sister was born, and she had a much more privileged childhood than I did for the most part, but, um, you have to keep that in mind as I tell this story because I pretty much never got to experience the things that I wanted to experience until later in life. And the reason I bring that up is because if anyone watching this video has ever been out with me, I tend to order a lot of food and I'll just take like a bite of these things that I order. So here's the story. So I've been out a few times and I'll go to a restaurant and I will order, I don't know, five things, six things, seven things. No way I could eat it all. But I'll just take a bite or two out of everything because I want to try all those things, right? Gotta keep this baby going. So I want to try all those things. And many people will say, oh, you're super wasteful, blah, blah, blah. But it is what it is. Because of how I grew up, kind of a scarcity mindset, um, I guess I'm making up for it now that I have a little bit of money to spare. So, yeah, I'll order a bunch of things, take a bite, and then I'm done. And so I've done this a few times, and... A couple of the uh, Polish women have actually said something about it. They're like, um, keep in mind, many of these Polish women I go out with aren't from Warsaw. They're from, like, smaller cities. And so when they grew up, they grew up kind of similar to how I grew up. And so they grew up in a smaller city where the economy wasn't super great, especially when they were younger in life. But as you know, the economy developed, there was more economic opportunities, maybe their parents moved here to Warsaw from the smaller city, or maybe they started a business in the smaller city and it started to do better. Um, they hold uh, some level of 
scarcity mindset to this day. And that's what they were sharing with me. They go, uh, we don't do that because of how we grew up. We grew up where you have to eat everything on your plate because um, it's really wasteful if you don't. And we didn't have a lot of money. So if you didn't eat all the food on your plate, that was kind of a major problem. And I was like, that's interesting because, I mean, I grew up the same way, but now I don't care. It's like, um, I guess I have made that mental shift from scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset where I'm not worried about where, you know, my next meal is coming from. I'm not worried about po polluting or wasting food or what may have you even though there are people starving around the world. Yes, I understand. I get it. Um, but I don't feel personally responsible. I mean, if you go to a restaurant, if you had any idea how much food they waste and throw away, whether it's expired, overcooked, blah, 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 doesn't matter. My habits are like the least of someone's problems. And the reason I actually say that, um, a Polish woman broke my heart is because I've talked ad nauseum on this channel that I can't be around people with a scarcity mindset. Now, there are a number of reasons that is, but a lot of people have this scarcity mindset because of how they grew up, the things their parents said, like even my parents, money doesn't grow on trees. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've heard the things that I've talk, I'm talking about. I'm not going to get too in depth, but that's a really poor thing to grow up. And it gives you really bad subconscious beliefs about money, which we aren't going to get into for the purpose of this video. But um, I don't like being around people who have a scarcity mindset. And I actually think the Belarusians and the Ukrainians probably even have more of a scarcity mindset which kind of makes sense because, you know, world events, their economies aren't doing nearly as well as Poland. And I've just noticed that a lot of these Polish, not, I shouldn't say a lot because I, I haven't talked to a majority of Polish women, like, but the ones that I've talked to, a lot of them, especially if they came from a smaller city to Warsaw, hold on to these, um, negative beliefs from their youth, which are incredibly hard to overcome. But also on the same token, you really ought to respect that they know the value of their currency, right? So they aren't super materialistic because they appreciate these things that uh, you may do for them or if you buy them a drink or something like that. I mean, actually, that's another quick story I'll tell. Here, let me reposition because my arm is getting a little bit tired um here how to do this we're gonna set that there for a second move this here boom okay we're back in business so the quick story i want to tell is i've you know been doing my thing and legitimately every time i go out with someone they're always like thank you so much blah 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 um sometimes they may even offer to pay which in my opinion is not how i was raised um but you could be different so i i mean frankly i'll tell you what i do even before the bill comes i'm not doing the little check dance I'll just be like, oh, I'm going to the bathroom real quick. And then I'll get up and go pay. Um, and take care of it. Because I'm not really interested in doing that check dance or have some woman possibly be like, oh, uh, do you want me to pay? Blah, blah, blah. Like, um, and I think in this culture, it's also a little bit different. If you ask someone out, I think you're expected to pay. But I don't really know because I haven't really dove too deep into that but they also aren't like ordering i don't know steak and lobster at least in my experience um i'm also not taking a bunch of women out to dinners but they aren't like getting the most expensive thing on the menu if you catch my drift 
And so that, I mean, I guess that's the other side of the coin is that um, although they might have a little bit of a scarcity mindset in some regards, if they, if you treat them well and you take them out, they're going to be really appreciative, uh, especially the ones that I've been out with. Now, um, I've heard some things about some of the, uh, let's say, Ukrainians and Belarusians being a little bit more gold diggery type, but I haven't personally experienced that. Um, I mean, we aren't going to get into the differences in this video that I've noticed between Polish, Belarusian, and Ukrainian women, but if that's something that you're interested in, I could definitely make that video because 100% I could uh, tell differences in those groups of women. Mainly the Belarusians and the Ukrainians versus the Polish women. And it's, it's not like super hard to figure out, but yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching and smash that like button if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, peace, much love.